Today, YouTube tests multiple angles for viewers to choose from, acquisitions of an app point to a kid-friendly version of YouTube, and Nintendo receives more requests for its creator program than it planned for. Hello and welcome to YouTube News for February 11th, 2015. I'm your host Alex and I'll be walking you through some of the most important and interesting topics revolving around the YouTube platform. First up, YouTube is testing out a new feature that allows viewers to toggle between camera angles. If a video creator has shot from multiple points of view with different camera angles, all of those can be synced into one single video that allows the viewers to select which camera angle they want to view from. Now this feature is only in testing, it isn't available to anybody really, but there are a few videos out there where you can try this out for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to try it. Next up, it looks like Google is working on a kid-friendly version of YouTube and has recently acquired a company behind the app Toontastic. The app and many others by the same company allow kids and their friends to create videos with themselves as the characters so they can start in their own TV shows. And with those shows they can share and send them out to their friends and family. The rumors flying around about this suggest that this is something that YouTube wants to implement into their own platform that they're developing for kids. But no solid evidence has been released or confirmed on the information so it's all speculation at this point. And last up, remember the story that I brought up last week about Nintendo's creator program? If not, click here to watch last week's episode and get caught up because it seems that Nintendo wasn't prepared for the launch. Despite a ton of criticism from writers and YouTube creators alike, Nintendo is receiving a ton of program requests, so much so that they've actually had to extend their video review wait time to more than 72 hours. So for example, you create and upload a Let's Play of a Nintendo game and you'll have to wait over three days to potentially get it monetized. And yes, I said potentially because Nintendo does have the power to refuse monetization on your video if they believe it's not in the best taste and doesn't reflect their IP well. The program is still in beta and is set to officially launch on May 27th. So hopefully they understand what went wrong. Or did they even go wrong anywhere? Tell us in the comments below and do you think this program will turn out to be effective? Do you think other gaming companies will follow Nintendo's lead? Tell us guys. Anyways, that's it for me this week. Tune in next Wednesday for the latest in YouTube news. Thanks for watching.